What's up guys? Coinstar 1337 back again with yet another video. Bitcoin. Woo! <laughs> Bitcoin has gone to the moon. Here at 16,000, not 1600, 16,000 dollars per Bitcoin. Now, I remember when this price was a pipe dream and folks were telling everybody in the world that Bitcoin was going to this price. I believed them. I bought Bitcoins. I actually had 160 Bitcoins at one point in time before they were hacked and stolen. This is why I tell you guys over and over and over again, never trust an exchange more you afford to lose because I have personally been through that heartache. Just recently, guys, NiceHash was hacked and $60 million worth of Bitcoins have been stolen. Guys, this is going to be a hard knock of life as time continues to tick on the clock. People are going to continue to learn that they do not need to trust these central nodes with their coins. Now, I see if you have to put $50 in your nice hash wallet for the day, but at the end of the day, take your coins out. There should not be these many coins stuck in this nice hash wallet for the hackers to get. See, this is the reason why, guys. The other reason why you don't want to pool your coins in these central exchanges or central mining pools is because it creates a honeypot for these hackers to target where these hackers can go because they know they're going to reap huge rewards if they succeed. You see, if everyone had their coins distributed amongst their own wallets, there would not be an incentive for these hackers because what are they going to get? 20 bucks here, 30 bucks there? You know, they may run across a Bitcoin millionaire, but the odds of that is going to be very low. But when you put your coins in these central exchanges, these central nodes, it just makes an open target for these hackers to come and hack. So guys, you know, hopefully if you had some money in this exchange, uh, hopefully you get, you know, you get your coins back, but the odds of that is going to be very low. Okay, take it from me, take it from me. Like I said, I used to have a lot of Bitcoin before they were all stolen. All right. Also, in other news, Steam is no longer supporting Bitcoin. Now, this here is not a surprise to me. I actually made a video about this earlier this year saying why Steam needs to take Litecoin instead. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it in the description down below. But basically what Steam is saying is the exact same thing I was saying about six months ago. And that is the fees are too damn high on the Bitcoin network. And Litecoin would be the perfect substitute for Steam. It's quicker, it's faster, and the fees are cheap. Also, the volatility is not as much. Let's take a look here at Bitcoin. Okay, look how wild this swing is. Let's take a look at Litecoin. More manageable. And Litecoin has also done some good things. It went up to a hundred and six dollars a few days ago. Um, it looks like it's coming back down to sell around these ninety dollar ranges. And overall, it is on the nice, steady uptrend, you know, comparatively speaking, that is. So, guys, um, what do you think Bitcoin is going to do now that we've reached these historical, astronomical levels? Is this the end? This is definitely a coincidental number here, 1667. 16667. And if we look on Bitfinex, it's at 17171. These are definitely some coincidental numbers for this to be a top I would not be surprised if this turns out to be the top for the next two to three years until we go back up to retest these numbers and go even higher marching towards one hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin guys it's coming one hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin is coming mark my words here you heard it here first alright <laughs> Anyways, guys, I've been Coinstar1337. Be sure to leave a like. Be sure to leave a comment in the description down below. And I'm out.